did you know at one time there was supposed to be another Bay City Rollers album? And we're talking most of the classic five, um, everyone except Derek, who was working full time as a nurse, I think, at that point in time. And uh, he was replaced uh, with Clem Burke from Blondie. And uh, they had a single that was coming out called Automatic. And thanks to Keith Petty, who a while ago, he did a screen capture of, uh, I guess, a Bay City Rollers page where it said, new single coming out, um, Automatic or Automatically You. Uh, And that was written by Eric Faulkner. And they were going to uh, record and release that. But anyway, this is uh, either in the late 90s or early 2000s. And they went to Wessex Studio, and I guess um, band members were asked to bring a certain number of songs with them uh, to uh, potentially record. From what I understand, Eric showed up with 19 possible songs, but there were some songs specifically that um, it, it seems like were for uh, that uh, recording session. But... The band couldn't get along, is my guess. Um, I've also heard that some band members didn't like the songs, whatever. Uh, But you're going to hear all that in the link to the uh, podcast on Spotify that I'm going to put in the description of this video. So we did, um, using some of the information I had, I came up with a list of potential songs for this imaginary album that unfortunately was never made. But the thing is, Eric Faulkner went ahead and recorded most of those songs himself afterwards. Um, And so we actually know a lot of these songs, and we know them as Eric songs. And I knew them as Eric songs for the last little while, but didn't realize until I saw a video that a lot of them were potentially going to be on this um, new Bay City Rollers record that never came out. And I found it very interesting And you can hear in the uh, podcast the little journey that I went through in trying to discover this this music. I love it. I um, I, everyone knows I like Eric Faulkner's songwriting, but uh, I was so pleased with the um, end result of this um, group of recordings. Um, It just set. um, It kind of set. what the band the band's potential that they had at that time in a new light for me and obviously um it it set eric's songwriting as a rock star songwriter which is different from what he is now he does um mostly folk music right and uh you know i've listened a few times to this set of tracks because um, I had to rearrange them and stuff like that. But over time, you, you know, I, I, I think of a lot of them, this is a guy that's writing a bunch of songs that you're, if you get on stage and you do it right, he's going to make you a rock star with these songs, right? Now, all these people already were rock stars, yes. But um, the band needed to be recognized um, in a new way, you know. And unfortunately, what ends up happening is that, you know, that recognition uh, never came. And that's fine. And I'm no longer really here to promote the band, per se. Um, But I think these are excellent songs. And it it gives us a glimpse into what could have been. Um, But also, I think um, it really... um, shows how great Eric Faulkner was of a British pop songwriter. Um, And he has so many other songs past this time. Like, this is a long time ago now. He's got so many songs. And I'm not surprised that he showed up with 19 songs for this potential recording session because he's got over 100 songs on um, on his website, right? Free to play. Donations accepted. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and, uh, this is kind of for people that if you weren't familiar with Eric's solo stuff, um, much like I wasn't, uh, only a year ago, um, and you listened to the Bay City Rollers when you were, uh, you know, 
um, maybe all your life or when you were younger, um, this is some insight into what they could have been and where Eric ended up at the end of that. And I think he ended up in a really, really great place. Um, it, to me, it's just shocking how good his songwriting became very quickly at that point in time. Uh, great stuff. He had his finger on the pulse uh, once again. So enjoy the podcast if you do decide to click on the link in the description. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them uh, here. And I'd love to hear what people think of the set list that we put together. And I will try also to get a list of the 19 songs, like the full list of 19 songs that could have, uh, that were thrown in the pot and could have been on the album. Um, but a lot of these definitely, I would say five at least of these songs would have been on that album or CD if it had been uh, completed at that point in time. Thanks for watching. I hope you listen to the podcast. And it is from a radio show from TD1 Radio. We recorded it a few like weeks ago, but it aired last night um, for the first time. So that's why I waited until now to put the link up. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, and I almost forgot. This is a bonus track. So uh, I, because it was a radio show, I could only fit so much time in there. But this is a track that I would really want to put on that album as well and this is eric shredding and uh it's great uh and this is not something that he is uh, typically does so uh, it's great that we have this uh we're going to go out on hungarian goulash by eric faulkner which could have made it onto that album as well have a good night